evening, the mother of a murder victim speaks out after a major development in the case. This newly released composite picture shows what authorities believe is the suspect in the murder of 19-year-old Sierra Bozegard six years ago. The victim's mother, Dana Bozegard, told us over the phone that the new picture of her daughter's killer does look familiar, and she says she has her own suspicions as to who he may be. She is working with authorities on this investigation. That picture is the result of new technology, and KPLC's Erica Ferrando is at the Calcasieu Parish Sheriff's Office to explain how it works. Cynthia, it's all about DNA. Before, investigators could take a DNA sample, run it through a database, hoping for a hit. But without a match, the investigation would hit a brick wall. Now this new DNA technology is revolutionizing the way investigators crack these cold cases. The individual with almost 95% confidence does not have blue or dark eyes. From just a small sample of DNA left at a crime scene, a brand new tool can create an image of what the person of interest looks like. Snapshot is providing the same kind of information that an eyewitness would provide. It's sort of a genetic witness, if you will. This is perfect for those types of cases where investigators go into a crime scene and they have absolutely no idea who was there but there's DNA on the scene and they want to know who was there. A company in Virginia called Parabon released the new technology last December. It's called Snapshot and predicts what someone looks like by basically reverse engineering the genetic code. We're only looking at those things that are heritable, the heritable traits. So skin color, eye color, things that an individual would know about themselves just by simply looking in a mirror or by knowing something about their family lineage. The tool can determine possible hair color, eye color, if the subject has freckles, and even the morphology of the face. So in this case, the individual with 92.9% um, confidence does not have fair skin. It then compares the DNA with other individuals in the database from all over the world. This person aligns closely here, which is Middle East, Northwest African, Middle East, Arabia, and Middle East, Northeast African. The tool can be used to give a face to unidentified human remains and help law enforcement eliminate possible suspects. They do not have to waste energy on subjects that really can be discounted because of their DNA. It's been very well received by the law enforcement community because we're giving them information that they've never had access to before, but they've always wanted. To have one of these composite pictures made costs $3,500 per case. The company can tweak the process to project what the suspect would look like at any age or weight. At your service, Erica Ferrando, KPLC 7 News.